will be talking about automation anywhere debugging so how would you debug a bot so best approach uh, to debug is to narrow down the section or to the line which is causing the issue in order to do that you would need to be able to see what each line is doing you can debug by using message boxes but you can only watch variables at one point in the code and if you need to debug more then you need to put message boxes all along your bot code and then when you need to deploy that to other environments you would need to disable or remove all those message boxes so the better approach to debugging is as we see typically in any programming language is the ability to move line by line through the code and see the value at each line and automation anywhere gave the option to debug a bot so we have a debug view that will be going through it is a very helpful feature and one should always utilize it when developing a bot and when debugging a bot so let's move on to the control room to see a scenario of debugging a bot so we are in control room right now and i have created a sample bot to show you how debugging can be done so i named it sample move file from origin to destination so what uh, this sample bot is doing is is taking the file from an origin folder and moving them to destination folder so if you see the origin folder it has these five files so what bot is doing is moving all of them to let me delete what file i have all of them to destination folder so if you go back to code so it's a very simple use case just i have built this to demonstrate how if any error occurs how you can debug it so firstly what i am doing is uh, i have a counter that i'm setting here then i have a loop which is looping the origin folder and when it's looping the origin folder it's taking all the files from the origin folder and moving them to destination folder so if you see this is the string value for the counter the path to the origin folder if you see let me expand it so this is the folder path and then this is the file name so you see file underscore and this is the counter and string representative representation of the counter so as soon as you have a file in the folder we will move it to the destination folder and destination we have a path here so what's doing is just simply copying the file from origin to destination so this is a simple use case but if i run it you'll see i'm running this bot and ideally it should take all the files from origin folder and move them to destination folder and when it's complete it will pop a message box says move completed looks good no error it seems but let's see the folders so you see origin has five files file underscore one underscore two three four five and then if you go to destination we only have one file ideally there should be five files here so it means our bot is not working as expected it's not moving all these five files to the destination so let's see what's going on here so what i'll do is in order to debug this what's going on i'll go to the debug view so this is the debug view so you can watch all your variables here and then this is your code and there are a few things you can do you can put a breakpoint anywhere you want to watch the variable at that point you can have multiple breakpoints at different places and in order to run the bot you can click on this button or you can also click on f5 so let's start debugging this so i am running this and if you see at line number five bot will stop see stopped here i want to see the counter one file counter blank uh, because i have not yet set 
So one way is for me to is to go line by line and for that I can use step over command F6. So if I click on this, the bot execution will move to the next line. If you, you see this highlighted here, so it means bot at line 6 and you see the variables getting updated, file counter, FPSTR file counter. And what else you can do is you can directly also go to line number 8 rather than moving line by line. So if I click play again or F5, it will directly reach there. It will not stop at next line, it will directly go to line number 8. So these are the few things that you can use to navigate through the bot. Now, so since we have seen it's not moving all the files, so let's see what's going on. Now bot is at line 8, so we see that origin file uh, the destination folder is this so that's correct and the origin folder is file underscore and txt that's also correct and we have seen that it's able to move the first file so that's good so let's move to the next step so when you click on step over it will move a line next to that so this is in a loop so what it will do it will go back to the loop so it goes back here then next line it comes here then next line it goes here and let's say i want to stop at eight so i'll click on this one so it will directly go to eight now let's check the variables on the left you either you can go directly or you can filter whatever makes it easier for you you can just filter that or it will show all your variables destination is correct let's see what's going on the origin you see origin is still file 1 although it's the second time it's looping so it should be file 2 let's check once more time in the third loop what it does go to the next line the next line and let's directly move to line 8 now let's check destination same that's good and you see the origin is still file 1 so it means this path is not changed every time it's a constant path let's see so if you see the path so it's coming from origin destination and if you see here this origin is found from pstr file counter so if you see pstr file counter it's also one it should either be two or three so it means we have a counter that's not increasing and, and we can clearly see we have set one counter then we assign that it's a number type of variable and we assigned it to a string type variable but we are not incrementing anywhere so that's the problem here so what i'll do is i'll exit debug let's close it and let's increment the counter by one so let me search for increment and let's move that here let's move the increment below the copy and let's Put fp num file counter increment by one assigned to num counter. What will happen as soon as the bot reaches line nine, it will change the counter to two, and in the next loop, hopefully, it fixes it. Let's again go back to debug and let's put a breakpoint. Let's remove this breakpoint, let's only keep it eight so we can see uh, the origin and destination path. Let's again run it in debug mode. Now it's running in debug, it will directly stop at line number 8. Then we can monitor all the variables. Now you see, so in the first round, it has a file counter value 1 and a destination or the origin is uh, file 1. Okay, now let's do run again. The second round, oh now it's 2, so that's good you see here also it's file 2 so it's working as expected let's run it one more time so it's 3 so that's good so let's let's uh, you can remove all the clear, uh, breakpoints from here let's remove them and run it bot completed now close this and let's see what happens you see now destination is all the files that is needed okay because orig origin had five files now destination has five files so we we are able to fix the issue and 
you have seen right debugger makes it very easy to watch all the variables move line by line and get your problem fixed so this is a useful feature and this is a 10 line board but you have like 200 line boards so it becomes very difficult to debug using message boxes so debugger makes it very easy for you to debug the bot i hope this session would have helped you it's a lot bye bye